Hey, welcome to Ergo Everything. Today we're looking at keyboard shortcuts for browsing the web. And traditionally, it's basically impossible to browse the web with keyboard shortcuts, and you really have to use your mouse. Um, so we're, I'm going to actually show you a free browser extension. Um, it'll be really easy to install. It allows you to completely surf the web without having to use your mouse, which is absolutely wild. Um, now, before we get started, I do want to show you how ridiculously hard it is to control your web browser with just your keyboard without the extension. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so here we are on my browser. I'm going to give you a couple examples. So first I'm going to go to Quizlet, uh, which I use a lot. And if I want to... So I can't use my mouse. That's the rule here. Um, the only way you can navigate on a web page typically is by hitting the tab key or arrow keys. So I'm going to hit the tab key a bunch. So this arrow keys lets me scroll up and down. Uh, okay, so I tabbed and I finally got here. I can hit enter. All right, now I want to do the flashcards, so I'm going to tab half a million times. Flashcards, cool. Now I want to flip the flashcard, which means I need to click right here. Let's see how hard it would be to get there. Should I, I should have counted the number. I don't even know where it is. Oh. Oh, it's literally impossible for me to click that using my tab button. Okay, so now let me show you how easy it is to use surfing keys. So I'm going to type in cute dogs, and we're going to just do an image search. So instead of having to hit tab a bunch of times, I just hit the F key, F for Foxtrot. And then it pulls up all these cute little tags. And I just have to hit the letter that corresponds to the tag, and then it'll click the thing right next to it. So right next to images, we've got Z, so I'm just going to hit the Z key. Now I've got cute puppies, and um, so i got to find the right image, right? So I want to scroll. Do I want to grab my mouse to scroll? No, I don't have to do that. Um, we're going to use, sorry, I don't know why I was checking my notes because I use this all the time. Um, I'm going to use the D key, delta, to go down. And it's actually a lot better than page down, which it just jumps too far, so you, you end up feeling like you missed something. So D for down and E, like echo, for up. And you can go up and down, and then I'll hit that F key again. And I want to look at this cute puppy. If you make the little hints come up and you're like, oh, I actually don't want to click on anything, you can just hit escape. Um, you can also use J and K to scroll um, a smaller amount. So there's that. Okay, so I can't think of a better place to show you this, um, but if you want to go to a text field, all you have to do is hit GI Golf India, and then it just automatically takes you to the text field or it highlights all potential text fields, and then you can like choose. And then the only other one I really use regularly is YY. Um, you know, maybe I want to send this BuzzFeed quiz to someone. Um, I can do YY. It um, copies that. And then you can paste it wherever you want. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to install surfing keys. Um, so this part you do need your mouse for. Um, we're going to come and click the little dots here in Google Chrome. Um, you can figure out how to do it on your own browser if you prefer something else. We'll click there, we're going to click on settings, and then we're just going to type in web store, and then we're going to open Chrome web store. And then from here we're going to type in surfing keys, no space or you won't find it. And then this is what we're looking for, click on surfing keys. And then um, you can go ahead and I think it says install. Uh, from Chrome for you. And then um, under the overview, you can come down and you can see additional um, 
keys you can use, different tools. Um, I obviously just covered the ones that I thought were useful, but you could check that out. And that's it. And then you're done. Um, I remember once I worked for a company where they used some really old software and it was just naturally built to use keyboard shortcuts. Like that's how they designed it. And then I remember moving to a company that was, you know, just doing things a little more modern and everything is shifting to the web now. So I hope this has been really useful. I really wish I knew about this free browser extension before. It's made my life a lot easier. Um, next week, we are going to be covering um, actual keyboard shortcuts for the browser itself. Um, Surfing Keys allows you to control the web page, um, but the browser, like opening up a new tab um, and, you know, that kind of thing, we'll cover in the next video. See you there.